Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about the general uptick on scams. So this was a Craigslist scam that I've talked about, but basically they don't live in that area and they post a deal that's too good to be true. Either they're pretending they don't know it is a good deal or in most cases they just say they got have to get rid of it or it is a ex-boyfriend collection and they know that the ex-boyfriend spent a lot of money and time on it but they don't know what it is worth so in my opinion um, when you talk about magic the gathering you have to talk about scams scams is really interesting uh, it is they're on the uptick they're they are pretty creative They are really, really creative. And this one in particular, I, when I was looking to adopt or buy a Shiba Inu that uh, came from a different home, because I didn't want to buy it from a breeder, but it, it, they're very uncommon. So it's not like you're just going to be able to adopt a $4,000 dog. Um, I, had, I found some Shiba Inus anywhere between $200, $100, and all the way up to you know $2,000. And they all had the same story. Oh, I misposted on the wrong area. And if you give me $200, I'll be happy to ship the dog to you. And you can pay me once you get the dog. Uh, very similar to a email message that I received from a subscriber. And that's why I'm kind of going over this because I wanted to explore it on my own time and see how, you know, their behavior, how does the scam actually work? And there's, in the beginning, the person says, you know, let's say it is a $2,200 collection. They say, okay, I will send you my ID. I will send you my social security number with my name. I will send you all this information. Uh, please send me $1,100. And then once you get it, I will, you know, you know, once you get the collection, you can send me the rest. So uh, that doesn't work because they're really after just the $1,100, right? Or, you know, in the dogs, in the case of these dogs, hey, pay me the $200 shipping fee, you know, the transfer fee that it would take to send this dog to an airport near you, and then you can pick up the dog. And so it's not only a waste of money, right? It's a waste of your time. You're spending a lot of time talking to this person. And that's what you have to be really careful about is your time. And as there's been more and more scams on eBay, we all know about the Black Lotus scam, uh, and then the Misha's workshop scam by the same dude. The same dude got scammed. Maybe they were by different people, but I would assume maybe the same 30 plus criminal record individual scammed him again. So there are plenty, or even the reverse eBay scam when you win something at a good price and you feel good about yourself, and then the person does not want to send. And the person will not send, or the person tries to sell you know, in private, which is against eBay violation, of course, but, you know, who cares? People, my point is, people are really desperate right now. And the more desperate they get, the more likely these deals are going to go wrong. The better the deal is, the more danger the deal proposes, even if you met them in person, you know, they might rob you, they might take your liver out, take your kidney, uh, there's a lot of bad things that can happen to people looking for good deals. And I remember Magic the Gathering used to be, it's kind of reverted back to how Magic was in Odin times. Uh, when I mean in Odin times, I mean, you used to do these really shady deals or shady individuals in shady areas. When I was in New York City at NYU, I used to do them all the time, like in the dark and... Um, it was very just <laughs> now in hindsight i'm i'm like surprised i I'm, i wasn't stabbed to death but yeah i mean it was pretty crazy it was the wild west of match because you did have these collections that people didn't really know the value of today the difference is everyone knows the value of these collections now there's a much more educated seller base than there is 10 years ago or even more let's say 2005 
that was yeah, fifteen year, fifteen years ago was when I started wheeling and dealing magic cards as a youngster at NYU, and it was a different time then. You could meet them, and you could, and then people were more willing to give you a better deal because again, the liquidity of magic cards isn't what it is today. Today, you know, there's online buy lists that are really easy to use. There's um, your local game store is probably going to buy Magic cards. One 15 years ago, they might not have. So, it is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> I thought this thing was just uh, one of the crazy stories. And I actually know that this was real. So, I then again tried to see if I could, quote, be scammed. And I was. It wasn't too difficult to find one of these uh, Craigslist posts of a deal too good to be true. And then when I responded, hey, you know, let's meet up, I'll buy it. And then, you know, he, he the post was in Houston. Suddenly, the dude lives in Washington, D.C. I wonder what happened, right? The increase in scams is going to, I mean, the increase in scams is really, in my opinion, due to the value of magic cards. And nowadays, there is not particularly a good way to get a great deal on old cards. You're not going to be able to trick an old lady. It's just not going to happen now because even those old ladies know that these have some type of money. In fact, if anything, I would say that they would overvalue the magic cards rather than undervalue in today's economy, of course. So as we see more and more people, um, as we see more and more individuals get involved in magic cards, there will be higher scams. eBay scams, uh, in-person scams. A lot of people are just trying to flip magic cards either because they have to or they feel like this is a demographic that traditionally has not been protected well by the law. So if you get your magic collection stolen, boo-hoo, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm dead serious. Boo-hoo, what are you going to do? You had your magic collection stolen and you're screwed, but hey, goodbye, magic player. <laughs> So it's not a laughing matter because it de definitely is dangerous. I, I would definitely I would not do any deals on Craigslist or Facebook where you need meetups if the deal is too good to be true because there have been cases where people have been robbed at these meetups and it does make sense to me why they would do that. Uh, it really just comes down to the value of these cards and more importantly how liquid they are. The fact that you can take them almost anywhere and then just sell them and flip them for like, it's not even difficult to flip them. And yeah, that's where I am. If something is too good to be true, don't waste your time on it. You know, you have to assume that the marketplace, the only real deal, it would almost be like, oh, if someone's offering you to sell you Apple stock for half off, would you or I believe this? No. But for some reason, Magic Gathering players all believe it. Oh, yeah, 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 man. This dude could get 4,000 buy lists just sending him Card Kingdom. But of course, you know, he wants to sell to me because I'm special for 2,200. <laughs> uh, the deal, I have not really had a really good deal in Magic the Gathering for a long time, probably 15 years, maybe 10 years. And it's because everything about magic cards is known. So even if a good deal was to be given, it probably was going to be relate. It's probably going to relate to the person really needing the cash rather than um, the person not understanding. So whenever they say, I don't understand, I don't understand, that is not a good sign. Um, that's actually a very bad sign and not only is it a bad sign, it's also something where, just think about it for a moment. It doesn't really make too much sense for someone who has the internet to post a item that they could easily Google on the internet because they somehow shot pictures of these valuable cards and realize, uh-oh, this is a lot of money and 
uh oh, you know, I have undervalued it. Now, again, maybe like they really need the money, but even when they need the money, it's not in, it's not in always a great deal. They're still going to nickel and dime you because that's how magic players are. So be very suspicious of these really amazing deals. In my belief, they don't, they really just don't exist um, anymore. Anyway, let me know what you think or have you seen something like this on Craigslist? Uh, it's one of the more fascinating things is the whole uh, change of location, right? Change of location. Anyway, bye guys.